realized that I hadn't updated you yet, but I was trying to continuously make little dumb montage sequences. Um, so I went to the Victoria and Albert Museum near Gloucester Road, which was actually really cool, and they had these killer fashion um, exhibits, and it was it was so cool. And um, I was going to go to the Natural History Museum, however, it was absolutely packed to the point where it was insane. So I decided against that. Um, right now, I am heading back towards Trafalgar Square. I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and then we'll probably hop on the train at Charing Cross and go to the Peter Pan statue, which will be super cool. Um, you'll have to excuse the noise right now because this is obviously a very busy road. One thing I have realized is that tour groups are the bane of my existence. I got stuck behind four of them just on my way to Trafalgar Square. There was one at the train station. It was like this big group of like high school kids. There was one at the museum. I got stuck behind that for like 10 minutes when I was trying to leave. And I just got stuck behind two more. One leaving the train and the other one um, trying to get onto this main street here so that I can get to Trafalgar Square. They were like, walk <laughs> they walk so slow. I can't stand slow moving. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go grab some lunch and I'll continue to keep you guys updated. went and got some Pizza Express and it was delicious. It filled a major craving for pizza. And now I am walking through Hyde Park. Um, in case you didn't know, this river right here is called the Serpentine and it runs through Hyde Park. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think the reason that I love Hyde Park so much is because I always feel like I should be dressed in like Jane Austen era clothing. Like I should be in the Regency and I'm like walking around with my friends or something. I don't know weird literary nerd goals but yeah so I am walking through here I am actually going to walk to go see the Peter Pan statue which is towards the end of the serpentine on the opposite side of the river from where I am but I'm going to do that and then I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do I might go to the British Museum and they're playing movies in Hyde Park this week at night one at six and one at nine so I have plans to Skype my friends at like 9.30. So I might go to the six o'clock one, but we'll see how that plays out. jaunt through Hyde Park. I got to obviously see the Peter Pan statue as you guys saw because I did get a clip of it. I'm pretty sure. But uh, no, it was, it, it was interesting. I got bit by a swan. And the thing is, is that it is illegal to um, injure the wildlife at Hyde Park. They are very much protected. And so I couldn't even retaliate. I just, I just had to deal with it. I got bit by a swan and I wasn't allowed to like defend myself. So that was the thing that happened. That was the thing that I can say that happened to me was that I got bit by a swan in Hyde Park. I don't know. So 
I walked down the high street a little bit and there was really nothing much to do there since I don't want to spend any more money. That did not stop me, however, from buying two tank tops at Topshop. Um, but right now I am going to go to the British Museum, so I will take you guys along for that one, of course. Then after that I'll leave there probably around 5.30 because it is 3.30 now, so that'll give me two hours. Going to go to the British Museum and then leave, go back to Hyde Park where I will try and see if I can do that movie thing grab some pret and sit around because I had a big lunch so I don't need a big supper. But uh, then after that I will just go back and Skype with my friends I guess. There's not really much else to do late at night. So we'll see how that goes. trying to go home from Hyde Park um, because the, it was just way too busy for the movie was playing and I didn't want to deal with it. Marble Arch Station and Bond Street Station both shut down, like completely shut down. Um, so I was like, I'll take the bus. The 98 stops at Russell Square Station. It didn't. I got off at Red Lion Square in Holborn, and so now I am, I, f I used the maps that they have like all over the city, um, and I'm trying to like navigate my way back to my door. <laughs> and um, yeah, so <laughs> I got lost, <laughs> big time, no idea where I am, <laughs> gonna try and figure it out. I think I might almost have it, but I'm not 100%. Um, like I said, I have been following the maps, but I'm god awful in maps, so I don't know. I think I have to take this street right down here. This one. But I'm not 100%, as usual. It's not surprising. That right there is Russell Square Tube Station, which means that I. Hey guys, sorry, I realized that I did not update you. I totally did get back to my normal right? I have eaten and showered and I am waiting to escape my friends. It's 9.10 right now, but uh, I'm obviously staying in for the rest of the night and I realized that I should have signed off the video, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. You can check out my other London vlogs or all of my Hamburg vlogs by going to my channel and all of my social media is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and see you again tomorrow. Bye!